All right, good afternoon. It's, uh, let's see here, December 18th. I'm responding to a Reddit poster, uh, user big underscore diver 1227. And they posted about, um, well, some sheet music that involves a stretch in the hand. They said that they're uncomfortable. They didn't say that they're uncomfortable in the back of their hand, but I have to assume that it's the back here looking at what the sheet music looks like. They did clarify that it's the high hand. So let's take a look at the sheet music real quick. And it's this type of area up here that is causing the issue, I think. Usually you see pain in the back of the hand with something like this if there's some dis discomfort. First of all, if um, if you feel discomfort, stop playing, you know, and uh, if you don't have a teacher, hopefully this video helps you solve some of these issues. But it has to do with having to keep our hand open enough to play an octave, for example, but closed enough to play a B sharp and a C sharp next, right next to each other, half step apart. So, um, and this is a super common issue. I remember running into this when I was learning, uh, what is it, The Legend of Zelda. And I was holding my hand sh stiff. I'm trying to demonstrate the bad technique trying to hold a half sh step down there and stretching to hold my octave and my hands really contorted. You wouldn't think you'd have to contort your hand this much to play just an octave. But what's happening on in the middle of the octave really causes the issue, right? And let's do a close-up real quick. I can show this. If I'm holding this shape, right, my fingers are comfortable playing this fourth, but as my thumb moves down, there's the fingers are still okay, still okay. Now you can start to see my pinky is forced to straighten out. So even though the distance between the D and the G are the same, by moving the thumb, my pinky is forced to straighten out. And, and as I do that, I can really feel the tightness, the tension there. The tightness will turn into pain if you play that way. It's not good, right? So how do we solve that? First thing is when you play notes moving between an octave, you should always move your wrist behind the note that you're playing or try to be behind it. So for example, if you were playing, you can exaggerate this by starting with your wrist to the left and then moving it to the right with each note and then moving it down. That's a smaller distance, but with an octave, you can see this side to side motion. Now that's not, um, needed for a lot of octaves for a lot of people you can uh, but in this case because we have the this hand shape we can't really stretch out as much as we would want to play the octave if we do we'll get that tightness because we have to play those close together notes in the middle so if first practice doing this moving the wrist back and forth and you can imagine let's see what's the sheet music actually look like the music is uh, something like that, and then so just practice. Notice my thumb is really coming in and relaxing in between each one. I'm not holding and holding this octave shape. My thumb comes up with me to help get to the pinky. Right? And now that that's happening, I can... The key is now when I go back down to the middle notes, the pinky also relaxes. I don't want to hold this pinky stretched out while I'm doing those middle notes, so... Uh, I keep wanting to play the Zelda song, right? But that's, that's the general idea. I'll do the above view real quick to move over for this, but. So for me, I kind of keep my middle fingers in place and use them as a little pivot, sort of like this. And you can see open, close, open, close. Oh. So that's, that's the idea. And it's true with any muscle or exercise that 
if you try to hold a sustained muscle contraction, like holding something up for a really long time, that's something that our body's not quite as good at, right? Whereas if you contract and then relax, contract and then relax, we're great at that. I mean, that's essentially what our heart's doing all the time, right? Our heart is contracting and relaxing in order to pump blood. So our bodies are great at that. So you want to open up your hands to play that and then relax. Open, relax. And that should be, uh, hopefully, help with that. So go slow. Enjoy that, and uh, message me if you have any questions. Thanks.